Hey, what's up guys, Matt here. So it's been almost a year since I did my last what's on my phone video. And a lot of people ask me what is on my phone, what apps I use every single day. So I figured let's start 2015 off right by doing exactly that and showing you what is on my iPhone. All right, so starting off the phone I'm using is a 64 gigabyte space gray iPhone 6 plus. It's a little bit big for my perfect phone, but I really do like the size and it really makes web browsing and stuff like that a lot better. Um, but it's a little bit big. This is jailbroken, so I do have a few things, which I'll leave a video down below talking about those things um, that actually make using this phone with one hand a little bit easier. And But in this video, I'm not really gonna talk about Cydia Tweaks. This is just gonna be about some of the apps that I use that I think are pretty cool and pretty useful and the ones that I actually use every single day. As you can see, there's a lot of folders and there's a lot of apps and I really use probably a percentage of what is on my phone. A lot of these are just here because you never know when you might need an app, but I'll just talk about the ones that I actually use every single day. All right, so starting off, one new app that I just started using is called Todoist, and this is actually for uh, making your to-do list every single day. So you can see I have YouTube, I have school, I have my personal there, and it really is nice and refined compared to the Reminders app, which is what I used to use, and that's kind of why I switched over. I just wanted to give it a chance. It's available on the Mac, it's available on Android, and it's available on iOS, so I really like that it's cross-platform, so I can use it on any device, and it just is, a I just like it better, I don't know. It's something about it that just is much more productive. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but definitely give it a try. It is free, there is a premium version, but I have yet to actually upgrade to that. I just haven't needed to yet, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be pulling that trigger pretty soon. It's a little bit expensive, but I think it's worth it if it makes you a little bit more productive. And I like that it has a widget here, so I can just go ahead and open up Todoist or add a task, and it'll show you the tasks that are there. But for the day, I am done. So that is a nice app that I'm really enjoying so far. Now next up, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my design folder. Now, if you don't know, I go to school for graphic design. I should be graduating in a year or two um, with a BFA in graphic design. And this is my folder that I don't really use again, but just as nice for reference and stuff like that. But one cool app is called Shake, and this actually allows you to make a legal document, a contract, um, just by entering in simple information. It'll work it up for you, and it's much easier than trying to figure out what's supposed to go in there yourself. And it's a nice starting off point for uh, making a contract, because if you're doing work on yourself, with yourself, not on yourself, but with yourself, or not with yourself, that's not the right term either, but if you're doing work by yourself as a freelancer, then you're gonna wanna have a contract because it really saves you in a lot of situations. If someone's not gonna pay you, you can say, hey, you signed a contract, you have to pay me, and if they don't, then you can take it to further uh, consequences. But this is a great app that starts off and um, gets you a contract, and then you can take it from there, and really nice, especially if you work freelance. Then StubbleUpon, which has been around for years, but I really use this for uh, my design stuff as well. It really is helpful for finding new sources that you just never would have thought of before. And um, you can't, it's really, there's a lot of websites out there on the internet and StumbleUpon really does make it helpful. Next up in health, I actually use quite a few of these apps. I have MyFitnessPal for tracking my food, and then I have Pact, which is working with MyFitnessPal. And Pact is actually a really interesting app. It actually allows you to bet against yourself or towards yourself um, with mo actual money to do something. So for this case, I'm actually saying I'm gonna try and log my food for seven days a week. And if I don't log my food for seven days a week, I'm gonna have to pay $5. So it's actual real money, it's not fake money, it's not some game. And it's actually something that's pretty hard to get out of if you don't um, wanna do it anymore. You actually have to like pause it and kind of, it's kind of complicated. So you can't just say, oh, I'm not gonna do it this week. You actually have to, um, you actually have to finish out the week and if you don't, you get par charged $5. And the good thing is, if you do do it, then you actually get money. So I actually have made a few dollars just by tracking my food. So, you know, you're not gonna get rich off of this, but it's definitely a nice incentive to actually start doing something. So this is a really great app, it's called Pact. And then I use Couch to 5K, so this is an app that helps you start getting running. I really hate running. I, it's like one of the things I hate the most, but I know it's good for me and it's definitely good cardio. So I'm using Couch to 5K, which uh, really gets you, lets you ease into running. So it doesn't start off with like running a mile or something like that. You just start off by doing some um, jogging and some walking and just alterating between those two things to get you to the point where you can hopefully run a 5K. And I'm really liking that app so far. Next up in my utilities folder, I'm, again, I'm not going over every single app, but I'll show you guys what are in these folders. And if you have any questions about a specific app, leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. 
But uh, in here, I have an app called Watchville, which is by Kevin Rose and his team. So I don't really use this app all that often, but I like to glance at it every once in a while just to check up on what's going on in here. So ever since smartwatches have been coming out, I've been really interested in watches just because I think they're pretty cool. And I've, I used to wear a watch like when I was a kid and then I stopped. And then now that smartwatches are out, I'm starting to wear them again. And it's interesting to just read up on some of the craziest watches that there is out there. And some that, you know, you can actually afford and some that you couldn't even dream of affording but this is a pretty nice app especially if you're into watches next up is probably my favorite folder which is my home folder so i have philips hue which are some light bulbs that i just got and a review of those will be coming shortly then i have nest for controlling my nest thermostats then i have hue disco which actually uses the hue bulbs to actually like do a cool disco effect it's pretty fun then i have kivo which is for my front lock so i can just tap it and it'll unlock for me just because i have my phone and then i have pebble which is for the pebble steel really great and then if this then that which is kind of a hard app to explain is you kind of have to get into it and just start using it but it's kind of a recipe app so you go ahead and say if i send a tweet then i want my lights to turn on it's kind of that kind of thing and you could do that with a ton of different services and it really works pretty well and I love it and that's why it's in my home folder because I like it for my hue lights and stuff like that it's it's a really great tweak or not tweak but app if you want to do some home automation then this is a great thing to use in my everyday folder these are apps that I use pretty often not every single day but quite a bit so one app I use a lot is YouTube studio for replying to comments and then I use Yelp a lot because I go to restaurants with my girlfriend in LA and it's nice to find some good ones that aren't horrible and gonna give you food poisoning so Yelp is really helpful for that then this one is called Headspace which is actually for meditation I haven't really started using it too much but I have done it a few times and it's really quite a good app and meditation is something that really can help you in your life and it's definitely a good place to start then I have deliveries which is an excellent app for deliveries um, and it uh, really syncs over through my Mac they have a they have a Mac app now which is nice and I love this is the best deliveries app I've found on any platform anywhere it's really great and then I have mint which is for finance and then I have sling player which is for watching TV from anywhere it's really quite a good folder that I use quite a bit not every single day but uh, quite a bit and then in social, it's everything you would expect. I have Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Alien Blue, which is for Reddit. It's the best Reddit client on any platform. It's actually owned by Reddit, so it's, you know, it's really good. I have Facebook Messenger, Google+, LinkedIn, Hangouts, and then this app called Couple, which is great for couples. So it's kind of like messaging, but you can do a few other cool things that um, it's just between you and one other person. It's not for, it's not like iMessage where anyone can text you. It's just between you and that person, so it's a little bit more private. And then oh, going to my next page, this is just a whole bunch of junk that I never really opened. So that's just what all that is there for. Apps that I want, but just never ever use. On my dock, I have messages, mail, Safari, and music. In my music folder, I have uh, Cast, which is Pocket Cast, and I love this app. It's probably one of my favorite apps ever. I use it every single day. I listen to podcasts constantly. And then I have Spotify also, so if I'm gonna listen to music, that's what I use. I pay for their service, and I really like it a lot. And then I have Pandora and the stock music app and SoundCloud. For widgets, I do have a few. I have my hue control, so I can go ahead and change the light. You can kind of see it changes there. Um, and then I have Todoist. Uh, and then I have Deliveries, which is that same great app, but good to see it right here. Then I have Thermos, which is great. And this actually controls your Nest thermostat right from the notification center. And it's nice. I can go ahead and just change it down five degrees or change it up five degrees. It really works great. And I just started using this one, but I'm really liking it so far. And that's pretty much it for the widgets. And that's pretty much it for everything that's on my phone. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I didn't cover every single app that's on my phone, but if you have any questions on an app that you saw that I didn't cover, then definitely leave it down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll probably make it an annual thing just talking about what is on my phone. And uh, it's something that I really enjoy watching and I hope you guys enjoy watching this as well. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content, then hit subscribe so you can see when my new videos are up. Like I said, my name is Matt and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.